Hey and welcome to the success hack for this week. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm Jane and I specialise in helping online business owners create high-end packages and combine it with a marketing strategy and sales process that brings in repeat leads and converts those leads into consistent 10k cash months. We're talking paying for clients and we're talking cash sales that get you to over the five-figure mark every single month in your business. And today in this week's success hack tip is actually about <clears throat> referrals. So this is particularly something that if you are looking for some quick sales in your business, the referrals is one of the ways that you can make that happen. See, when people think of quick sales, what I find that a lot of people do is the activity that they're doing to back up that kind of, you know, getting them to the, those quick sales is actually more of a long-term type of activity than short-term one. But see, referrals um, actually push you on the more of a short-term. You're more likely to get those short-term quick sales you're looking for from referrals than you would from, say, um, creating a new sales funnel and then driving traffic through it through a blog that's currently gone no traffic, right? Um, but referrals is something that you should probably have and bring into your business anyway. And there's a couple of reasons for that. So first of all, if you were getting referrals from, say, clients that you've previously worked with, they're going to be able to go and, and kind of talk about you in a way that they've experienced, which will be positive, right? And so when people are listening to them, they already kind of jump up the ladder of trust with you um, and feel as if they know you because they'd be in, you know, they're, they're having the information from someone kind of firsthand of what it was like for them. And so when it comes to them sharing their experience with others in a referral type of basis, obviously you already jump up that ladder three times because it's coming from somebody they know and they're doing it from a perspective of they've actually worked with you. Um, and on the other side, you could be maybe getting some connections that you know to send you referrals. And likewise, they would probably be referring people to you who maybe they work with themselves. And again, there's already that level of trust that's actually been kind of uh, associated and committed because that person they're working with is now referring you. Um, and so they're going to trust it on a level that they wouldn't necessarily already trust you on if they were to come in straight from the beginning. But the question I always get is, well, I mean, how do I ask someone for a referral? Well, it can actually be really simple. So let's say you're gonna to go to previous clients. You could go to previous clients and say, hey, you know, I know it's not something that would necessarily interest you right now, but I wanted to let you know that I have a couple of spaces available on, let them know what it is. Um, or if you have a special offer running, you can tell them about the special offer running. I, you know, I was just wondering um, if there was anybody that you knew who might be interested in one of these spaces. You know, if you want to kind of pass in the details along or if you want to see if they're interested and maybe you could kind of introduce us and things. You could obviously also offer them the option of giving them some kind of a fee or percentage or something in return for the referral if you wanted to but it doesn't need to be complicated and likewise with connections that you know so just last week i, st I set up um referrals with with somebody who is a web designer so um she's now sending me referrals and i'm sending her referrals but <clears throat> basically it was a very simple conversation hey you know we kind of work with very similar people do you have anybody you know you can you know the, the that is looking for xyz I already knew that I had some people that were looking for, for her services. I said, you know, maybe we could do a bit of a referral type of swap. And that's what we've done. So referrals doesn't have to be complicated. And asking for a referral is actually dead simple. You just need to kind of initiate the conversation and kind of say, hey, you know, I've got this. Do you know anybody who wants it? And then if you're going to offer them something in return for that referral, then obviously you can tell them at that point that you're going to do that. But... <clears throat> You know, referrals are a really great way. Um, and I think the one thing that people think is they need to sit there and wait for people to refer off their own backs. Sometimes people just won't do that. So they will if somebody maybe kind of openly kind of talks about it, but they won't necessarily do it. I mean, the, the prime example is I only ever kind of refer people to when I'm kind of prompted to do so, like when I'm reminded that I can do it. Because that's the other thing. Sometimes people don't even know that they can do it, which seems crazy, right? Because like surely everybody knows they can refer people to me. But you think that that isn't necessarily the case for your clients. So sometimes if you want clients to actually refer people to us, one of the best ways to do it is just have a conversation with them. Just say, hey, you know, do you know of anyone? And it's the same with like people you're connected with. Obviously, there's some kind of things to think of. First of all, 
don't kind of go and do it to somebody you've never spoken to before. If you've never spoken to them before, then asking for a referral isn't going to work and isn't going to go down well. It needs to be people, if you're talking from a connection basis, that you have actually had conversations with and have a level of a connection with before you're going to go and ask them for, for, for a referral. But why not go and do it? Why not set yourself a target of contacting five people about referrals this week and see how many sales you might be able to make about make of it quickly and then also think about how you can bring referrals in on a longer term basis maybe there's some sort of you know the systems and things that you can use so you can ensure you've always got that flow of referrals coming into your business if you're a business owner that desires to start selling high end 2.5k and above and you want to be hitting the 10k five figure cash months we're talking cash months then um yeah get in touch um if you're on Instagram, then you can click the link in my bio and schedule yourself a free call with me and I'll help you map out your high-end package. Or um, you, if you're on any other platform, you can just use the link that I will have left above. Have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you next week for the next Success Hacks tip.